2021. Rob's random stuff here. Gonna go and smoke a uh, five pound pork butt today. Master Touch 22 inch kettle. I started setting up the old snake method, minion method, train method, whatever you wanna call it. Almost a two by one, but I kind of skip and just do every other. What you wanna do, set them up so they're laying like this, on top of each other, stacked a bit. And then I put one just like that and get your, if you wanna use a smoke, feel free to do that. So basically that's what it's gonna look like. And we're gonna go all the way around, probably three quarters of the way here. We're gonna make a pretty much a half moon around. I don't anticipate it taking more than six hours or so. If it does, we can always add more charcoal and continue on. Um, we're just gonna start with our basic chimney starter here. Maybe six, eight coals, 10 coals, whatever. I'm gonna heat these up. I just flip it over and use the bottom so it's easier to light. And we'll end up putting them right here in the beginning. Just a little stack, get them going, get the fire started and uh, get a nice slow burn going around. Again, we're just using basic Kingsford, original, nothing special. You can use lump, whatever you want. I just use this, cheap, readily available. So I'll finish this up off camera and uh, season up the pork and we'll show you how we start it up. All right guys, here's the finished snake. Looking good. Just got it, like I said. Usually, usually a lot of people say do two by two. I just like to stagger two by two, and then we do two by one, every other or so, every three. Put your chips just like that. Just use a small one because if you use too big of a chunk, it's going to create more heat and uh, it'll never burn through all the way because it's supposed to be a pretty slow burn. This is the first time I'm doing this, so I'm a beginner just like all you beginners out there. So uh, I watch YouTube videos just like you do. So, all right, I'm gonna go season up the pork butt and uh, we'll get this thing going. Don't forget, like and subscribe. All right, guys, we're back. Got the coals white hot there. No more smoke, so we're good. So we're gonna go ahead, dump these here. And just arrange them pretty close to the wood. So we can get this thing started. Again, we don't want the fire too hot to start. Just wanna get that train started. So I'm going to let that catch fire a little bit, let the smoke recede, and I'll get the pork ready, put on the grates, throw it on, see how it looks, and we'll start our timer. Don't forget, like, subscribe. Alright guys, this is the start it here. Focus down here for a second, Robert. you can see it's smoking away. I'm going to go ahead and get the pork out right here. Nice and seasoned. I'm gonna put this right in the middle. Tuck it tight. It's about four pounds. It's trimmed off some of the fat. Not try to leave as much as possible for flavor. So uh, we're gonna see how this goes. We'll check in and maybe uh, we're gonna give it a solid hour to start cooking here, and we'll go on from there. Okay, we are at the three hour mark. Haven't opened the lid at all. Try to keep it right around 275, 300. Doing pretty good. Let's crack this thing open, see how we're looking. Hmm, it's looking all right. 
I did add a drip pan on the bottom. Can see there's not too many drippings, but uh, definitely shrunk a bit. Let's see if looking good. Developing a bit of a crust, which is good. Let's do it. Just a temperature check in the thick part, just to see how we're looking here. 162, three. 78, that's kind of surprising. There's a thicker part. 49, 48. So I guess it all depends. Over here, it's right next to the bone, so it's gonna cook a little quicker. So uh, yeah, we're gonna let this thing rock and roll. Minions maybe, right? See where the thing's lighting on fire. Yeah, almost halfway around, three hours. So we're gonna hurry up and close this. And uh, I'm gonna let it cook away. Check in in another hour. All right, guys, we're at the four hour mark. This thing's looking pretty good. A nice bark on here. Plenty of drippings. Let's do a little internal temperature check here and see how we're looking. Fifty-three, sixty-two. That's right next to the bone. That's pretty thin. It's a nice thick part. One seventy-five, seventy-six. So we're getting there. So we're gonna let this cook a bit more. Maybe another hour. I'm trying to keep it around two fifty, two seventy-five. I don't want to overcook it. Again, it's my first time. So, uh, I'm gonna see how this goes. But uh, it looks like, uh, you know, what the videos look like. So, you know, it's feeling pretty good. I'm sure it's got plenty of moisture in here as well. So, all right, we're gonna uh, let this go. Try another hour, and we'll see what happens. Okay, guys, we're at the five hour mark. Looking real good. Let's take a little temp check. See those juices just bubbling away there. Pulling away from the bone. 177, and we'll call it 180 there. Sixty there. Let's try to do close to the bone. It's probably gonna be much higher. 185. That's Barely any meat. Let's go down here. 175 towards the bottom, but that's nice and thick. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to uh, give us 30 minutes, and then I'm going to wrap it. And wrap it for a good hour. Or at, at least let it rest. We'll see what the temps are looking like. So, we'll check back in 30 minutes. Temps are running about 265 right now, so pretty low. I don't want to overcook it, so it's getting pretty close to done. So, okay, we'll check back in half hour. All right, guys, we're back. I just checked the temp. It's about 178 on the size and about 168 on the fattest part of the meat. So, uh... I guess I'm going to take this off and wrap it for a minimum of an hour. Just going to wrap it in foil and uh, we'll tear it apart and see how we did. Don't forget, like and subscribe. All right, guys, I tried to shred this off camera. I guess I didn't cook it high enough temperature. Everybody says you cook it to about 200 degrees. I cut it off at about 180-ish, which is plenty safe to eat, and then some, but we're just going to slice it. We did taste it. It was very good. So let's just see how we look here. It's very tender. Not shreddable, but very tender. You can see. Is that focused? Yep. Good. You can see. Super juicy. Very tender. And a little slice. Let's 
see it's just glistening with juice. So I was a little nervous to cook it to 200, but uh, apparently I should have listened, but it's gonna be really good. I can tell, got a nice smoke ring around the edges. It's looking very good. Got a nice bark on here. Pretty slice it thin. I'm gonna just chop it up, put in some sandwiches, read it on the side. It's looking really good, glistening with juice. So uh, the first long cook for the pork. Somewhat of a fail, but still gonna be delicious. And I'll taste it, just to be sure. It is very delicious. Not shreddable, but very good. All right, well, we're gonna chop this up and make some sandwiches or uh, whatever. And uh, like, subscribe. Next time we'll do a better job. See you next cook. All right, guys, we ended up chopping it up. We got plenty of meat here. There's a couple pounds of meat at least. As you can see, it's got super uh, pink smoky rings all over, great bark. May chop it up just a bit more for sandwiches, but we're just gonna do sandwiches instead of, you know, pulling it. We got some delicious pork here for sure. Really tastes good. Just have to cook it longer to get that shred, but pretty proud of it. So not too bad for the first long cook. Again, just wanna give you a quick update. Like, subscribe. See you on the next cook. We'll do a better job.